Hi everyone, Mystic here. Welcome back to the Should I Buy series where I review items in Growl. Each item is rated on its usefulness, rarity, and demand. Afterwards, I address the item's price and give my opinion on whether it's worth the buy. Before I get into the episode today, I just want to say a quick thanks to everyone for the views and subscriptions as of late. The channel has been blowing up and that is because of all of you. Because of this, I'll be hosting a 3000 shell giveaway on Friday. All you have to do to win is watch the giveaway video on Friday and follow the instructions in the video. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the rarest of the skateboard trash picks, the Rainbow Skate. Starting off with usefulness, Rainbow Skate deals 6 damage and is very slow. However, it is pretty obvious how Rainbow Skate, and any other trash pick for that matter, is not meant for killing anything, so its damage is pretty much irrelevant. Attack speed is actually still important to the usefulness of the item because it affects how fast you can pick up trash. Sadly, Rainbow Skate does not have any particular speed advantage over any of the other trash picks. Luckily though, Rainbow Skate does have some extra features that other trash picks don't have. First, Rainbow Skate is a skateboard, and this is not just for looks. Rainbow Skate actually allows you to skate around. Yes, skateboards are not the most useful thing in the world, but some players do use them to be able to say things in public chat and move around without it disappearing. That means no more pesky chat blockers. In the world of trash picks, Rainbow Skate is definitely more useful than most, but in general it's just not that important to own, and thus it scores a 3 out of 10. Like most other supers, Rainbow Skate was released in auctions. It was not a very common item to find in auctions, and because of that, there isn't a lot of them out there. Over the past year, I've definitely noticed that the amount of rainbow skates in tables has been slowly diminishing. I'm not sure if this is due to a hoarder or just the gradual loss of the item. Lately, I've only seen two and at most three rainbow skates in the entirety of tables. This has really driven the rarity of rainbow skate up and is starting to become very noticeable when attempting to buy one. Overall, I give rainbow skate a 7 out of 10 in rarity. Demand has been something that was never really there for rainbow skate. Yes, it is cool, but it really isn't unique. Many just settle for the normal skate pick, and ever since the release of the rare version, the Monkey Skate, nobody has really wanted to shell out the price of Rainbow Skate. However, I feel when the item drops and goes to a lower price, it seems everyone is looking for one. Its tendency to sometimes pique the interest of buyers gives it a 4 out of 10 in demand. Rainbow Skate's price has fluctuated to all ends of the earth over the past few years. Since its release, it's been an item I've found extremely hard to keep track of. It's been everywhere between 30 and 100k, which makes the item extremely unpredictable and risky. I think it's an item that could rise and drop at any time. Currently though, Rainbow Skate is sitting around the 37 to 40k range. My opinion on Rainbow Skate didn't quite match the score I gave it, and that puzzled me. Overall, I feel the scores make Rainbow Skate look like an awful buy, and I disagree with that. It is one of my favorite trash picks to own, and I usually have one. I think although the scores are low, the item just makes you like it when you own one. Another reason for me liking it is that I have made a lot of profit buying them when they drop. Taking advantage of its crazy price changes can be very beneficial. Either way, I think Rainbow Skate is a buy if you can get it on the cheaper side of its price range and you're okay with the risk. Well everyone, that is it for this episode of the Should I Buy series. If you enjoy what I'm doing with the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And if you like the series, leave a comment on what item I should review next, and any different video ideas you might have for the future. Also, remember to tune in on Friday for the giveaway video and on Tuesday for the next regularly scheduled video. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.